Hello and welcome to Fashion Report Friday, the weekly video series trying to get you the most MGP possible every week on a Friday when judging begins for the Fashion Report minigame Inside the Gold Saucer. This is week 323 and the theme this time is Prime Beast. The individual clues include Animal Instincts for our helm, Leaping Leopards for our chest, Primal Revival for our boots and Leather for our wrist slot. In this video, we have a 100 score, an 80 with dies, and the easiest 80 we could put together. Without further ado, for the 100 score, I would advise going for the Wyvern Skin Main of Fending. This is mostly because it's purchasable from a vendor, specifically Norlays in the Pillars of Ishgard will sell you the Wyvern Skin Main of Fending. Alternatives to this include the 2017 All Saints Wake Reward, the Werewolf Head, or you can actually get that as part of a full werewolf attire on the cash shop, the Swine Head, which will acquire from the Gold Saucer for 24,000 MGP, or another great option is either the Lion's Maid Armet or the Bear's Maw Armet. Both of those items from the Wolf's Den Pier for PvP Wolf Marks, 500 of them to be precise. All of those options will work for gold. For the chess piece, I went for the Militia Harness. This is something that is spotty, so it matches the actual Leaping Leopard's clue. You'll notice that with all of the items, they match their clue. The Militia Harness then is crafted with Leather Worker, and you can also market trade this if you want to as well. Alternatives include the Spotted Spencer, which if you know anything about Kowil Regina, then you'll know that you can exchange horns in Idleshire for that. Uh, or alternatively, the Sentinel's Curus will work as well, which drops in Desmal Darkhold, or you can get that from a market board. I went for the Militia Harness because it was the easiest to access. For the feet then, this can be any of the Poetics, Hellfire, Slipstream, Torrent or Hailstorm boots. These specifically will cost you 345 Allegan Tomestones of Poetics. You can have either the Augmented or Normal versions, it doesn't matter. And obviously we went for the Fending ones to match with our choice of Helm and Chest, but of course you can go for any that you like. Uh, those will also count towards giving you gold rating in this slot. And finally, for our wrist slot, I went for the leather wristbands. These are very easily accessible. They're crafted with leather worker, or you can get them from a NPC called Lolanu in Steps of Fall in Uldar for 201 gil. This is definitely the easiest item from this fashion report this week, and definitely one that you will want to pick up. Alternatives include pretty much any of the leather wristbands, so there's the hard leather ones, the goat skin ones, the, uh, the boar skin ones. They're all basically increments of uh, level increase, but uh, there's no point in going after those. Just go for the leather wristbands. They're the cheapest and uh, more accessible. And that's the 100. So let's move on to the 80 with dies. Your best in slot dies then, die everything on your left side, making sure you have something equipped in every slot, including accessories. Your left side dies include pearl white die on any weapon in the game. We also have pearl white die on any feet in the game. We have desert yellow, which is an NPC purchase die on any helm in the game. We have jet black on any chest in the game. We have lotus pink on any hands in the game. And we have metallic green on any legs in the game. For the simple fact that there's a jet black die and two pearl whites, I'm going to say this isn't worth it and move straight on to the 80, the easiest one that is. Fundamentally, for an easy 80, there are a few ways we can do this. The first of which is to combine any two items from the 100 score. For example, if we were to combine the leather wristbands, which are vendor purchased, with any of the augmented or normal a Hellfire, Slipstream, Torrent, or Hailstorm boots, which is 345 Poetics, then you will get an 80 score guaranteed as long as you have something equipped in every other slot. Another way of doing it perhaps would be to combine the Wyvern Skin Main Offending, which is vendor purchased from Norlays in the Pillars of Ishgard, and combine that with the leather wristbands. Those will all work as viable options. Another way of doing this would be to have low level basic crafting. If you had a level 30 
the woodworker, for example, or whatever it might be, any of the crafters at level 30, you can make a die called Lotus Pink. If you were to make Lotus Pink die as a free trial player, then combine that with two vendor purchase dies, such as Desert Yellow and, of course, Mud Green that we could use in this example, which are both purchasable from a vendor called Nana Bay in Aldar's Market District. If you combine those three dies and the leather wristbands, so if you dyed a helm, desert yellow, uh, your hands lotus pink, and any legs in the game mud green, and combine that with the leather wristbands with something equipped, you would get an HG score that way as well. So there are lots of different options, but not really many direct options if you don't have access to any of those vendors, or of course, if you're not wanting to go that direction at all. Uh, another great option would be to use the swine head, for example. But of course, I don't like recommending options where we use MGP to gain MGP. Anyway, let me know what you think about this. Thank you so much for watching. There'll be a link in the description of this video for you to go and have a look, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.